Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexandria. I'm a registered nurse and a freelance health content writer, and I'm going to be talking to you guys in this video about how to grow your business to six figures, how to grow your freelance writing business specifically to six figures. I created the channel with the intent of helping other nurses and um, healthcare professionals learn more about the freelance writing space. So if you like what you hear, please subscribe to my channel and tell me how I'm doing in the comments. Um, so let's get into it. So another way for you to grow your business to six figures is to really start to prepare for the successes and the challenges. And I have my notes. I always want to make sure that I'm giving y'all all the gems because, you know, creating this channel the intent really was to help other people understand especially other healthcare professionals understand that this is an avenue of financial growth that you can tap into that should be low stress that really is low risk but can be incredibly high reward especially if you are taking the time to grow yourself as a freelance writer. And that looks different for everyone. So I wanna go through some of the things that you should be thinking about when preparing for the successes and for the challenges. Be sure that you are taking the time to set boundaries. This goes for anything from a client who out of nowhere is like, I need you to get this assignment done. I wanna give you this assignment and I need it back in three days. If you don't have the time to do that assignment, don't even think twice about whether or not you can get it done immediately, reply back to them. Thank you, but no thank you, can't do it. And this is really important that you set boundaries because when you don't set those boundaries, people will continue to cross over into spaces that you are just not comfortable with. If you know that you are not one who is set up to take on heavy assignments and have little time to get them done, little time to even think about the assignment or, you know, really put in the time and energy and effort that you feel as though you need in order to be successful with that assignment, it's going to continue to happen. So make sure that you are setting the boundaries. Okay. Prioritize your self care. This is one of my favorites. This is really personal for me because, you know, I've taken time. I started my business in 2022. And then I also was in the middle of, well, towards the end of my PhD studies when I started this business. And I had just walked away from the floor a couple of years prior and was working in these different jobs, kind of trying to figure out, okay, am I sure that I'm done with direct patient care? The answer was yes. <laughs> um, but in the midst of really trying to figure out where you belong, prioritizing your self-care is really, really important because nursing is one of those fields. It's a beautiful field. It really is. Um, but it's also a space where it's easy to kind of get swallowed up and lost in, you know, someone else's traumas or issues. And, you know, I wish I would have taken a little bit more time to really allow myself to try before I buy, meaning like trying to find myself liking or giving myself an opportunity to like the opportunity to work in other spaces. And, in the midst of all of that, when you're trying to find yourself, you really need to give yourself some self-care, especially when, you know, you are trying to find where you belong and you just feel like for whatever reason, you haven't found your fit, you haven't found your niche, you haven't found where you think you're going to do the most good. And that can be really hard to manage. And let me tell you, starting a business <laughs> is not a place to go and not pour into yourself as well because you're going to be pouring so much into other people's businesses just to help grow yours and then pouring into growing your business. Well, where are you spending the time to pour into you so that you can continue to put out so much energy and high quality effort to get things done? So definitely prioritize your self-care manage your time i can't say this enough i've said this in several of the other videos about growing your business to six figures time management is of the essence if you do not have know how to manage your time it's going to be really challenging for you to get to a point where you can grow and scale your business so get your thing you're thinking together about ways that you can better manage your time. Learn how to uh, 
outsource your tasks. Uh, okay. Um, I, I still am struggling with this, so I need to take my own advice when I say this, but learn how to outsource stuff. If you're not great at content creation, if you're not great at marketing, if you're not great at, you know, building a website, find somebody that is good at it and let them take over. You know, if you're not great at graphic designing, find somebody who is good at it and let them take over and give yourself an opportunity to really hone in on those skills that you are good at and allow yourself to flourish through those skills. This is a tough one for me. Learn when to say no. 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 And this is also critical when trying to grow and scale your business when you don't know how to say no to something that does not feel good in your spirit in your heart of hearts you're worried about where the money's going to come from if you do say no this is going to be a problem for you when you're trying to grow and scale your business sometimes you have to take a loss in order for you to take a major win so learn how to say no when you're preparing for the successes, because I think a lot of the time we focus so much on the challenges, we don't focus enough on the success, the successes that are coming our way. So when you're focusing on the successes, be ready to celebrate all of your wins, even the small ones. I don't care if you know, you're celebrating the fact that you got all of the tasks that you wanted to get done for the week done. That is a major win. Celebrate that. Um, be sure that when you are going through this journey that is freelance writing and you're kind of getting to know yourself and, you know, your intentions, your why in content writing, that you are willing to learn from the journey and enjoy the journey. There will absolutely be hiccups. There will be ebbs and flows. There will be trials and tribulations. All of these things will occur and it has nothing to do with your ability or capability of, uh, to be a freelance writer and everything to do with just going through the normal processes of learning something new. So learn to embrace the journey and then have fun have fun along the way. I know that that's easier said than done. I know that this is another thing that I need to take my own advice in. Um, sometimes we find ourselves in these positions where we just want to get to the finish line so fast, we kind of forget to just stop and say, but this is something that I really enjoy doing. So I'm glad that I'm here and doing it. Don't be that person. I find myself in that position all the time, not, uh, celebrating my wins and celebrating my successes and celebrating my failures and celebrating my journey in the way that I should. Don't be like that. Um, you have so much room to grow and I can't wait to hear about some of y'all success stories. I really can't. So if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please subscribe below. Um, if you are interested in more content, please share your comments with me. I take a look at all of them. I am in control of this page and really am looking for the feedback so that I can help other nurses and healthcare professionals tap into freelance writing and help in any way that I can. Um, I also have a freelance writing course if you're interested and I will of course leave that in the description below.